Hi, this is Jogadar Singh in this video and you are watching Jogi and You. In this video, I am going to teach how many times can you subtract 10 from 100. But my friends, it all depends on the intent of the question. One more quick of the English language is that question can be asked in a very vague manner. Actually, it's a linguistic impact to this question the interpretation of the words of the question could lead to many answers. If the intent of the question is to ask how many times 10 can be subtracted from 100, then my answer would be it depends on your boundary conditions and it depends on how low or in what manner do you want to go. That means, before impounding on this question, just clarify on which domain you want to be performed, which are as follows. Please note that the upcoming illustrations in this video are on assuming a base 10 number system. So, we start with illustration number 1. In this illustration, I want to say that if it is a joke, then do anything as you wish. But if someone wants an answer, then the answer will be zero times. Why? Because she or he does not understand the concept of this question. So that she or he is able to perform the calculation exactly zero time. Perhaps there should have been a better and clearer way to ask this question. But wait. We have a lot of logical answers here. Those who are eager to know something new and extra may stop here by the end of this video. So our actual illustration starts with number 2. If it is a children's riddle or something like that, in this case maybe the intent of the question is to ask how many times 10 can be subtracted from 100 while it is still 100. Well, then in this case, it would be only one time. See how. 100 minus 10, 90. And now, once because as soon as you subtract 10 from 100, it is now becomes 90. Therefore, you wouldn't be subtracting 10 from 100 anymore and you would be subtracting 10 from 90. In that case, the required answer would be only one time you can subtract 10 from 100 because the remainder would no longer be 100, it would be 90. But the original question is insufficiently specific to the condition something like that. So the illustration number 3 is as follows. If we perform here on the natural number or positive integer basis, then it will be 100 minus 10, 90. 100 goes here and 90 will be here. So, 90 minus 10, 80. 80 minus 10, 70. 70 minus 10, 60. 60 minus 10, 50. And 50 minus 10, 40. Now, 40 minus 10, 30. And then, 30 minus 10, 20. And this is 10. And now, we have nothing to do because you never include a zero in natural number solution. So, as the answer you can subtract 10 from a total of 9 times if it's a natural number line or positive integer number line. However, the question could be interpreted another way as shown in the following illustration number 4. Do you want your end boundary to go to the zero? That means it's related to a line of whole numbers. If so, you can subtract 10 from a total of 10 times. See how. 100 minus 10, 90. Both are represented on the whole number line. 90 minus 10, 80. 80 minus 10, 70. And so on. Till you get the 0. If we count, it's in total of 10 times. And it's time for the illustration number 5. If you want to enter into the negative, that means it can be performed on an integer number line. Well, honestly, 
you could potentially go to the negative infinity. See how. 100 minus 10, 90. 90 minus 10, 80. And so on till you get the zero. But don't stop here. Journey will be on till we get negative infinity. So the answer will be in total of negative infinite times. Now see the illustration number 6. This illustration demonstrates if one could reasonably argue that it is possible to subtract it an infinite amount of times. Otherwise it's time to switch on illustration number 7. Now if we are talking about a fractional or a rational number line, if we try solving on basis of fractional or rational number line, solution will be infinite just like it would be performed on an integer number line because still the base is 10. Ok then, it's time to talk about illustration number 8. If it's an irrational number line, in that case, you can subtract 10 from 100 for a total of 0 times because it's an irrational number line so that we won't have a single rational number to place on this irrational number line just like 100, 90, 80 and so on. So we leave them out. Now the illustration number 9 says if it's a real number line in this case all the natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers and irrational numbers are exist on this rational number line. If we try solving on basis of real number line, the solution will be infinite. Just like it would be performed on an integer number line because still the base is 10. Well, now come to the illustration number 10. If it's a prime number line, in this case, you can subtract 10 from 100 for a total of 0 times. Why? Because because then we won't have a single composite number to place on this prime number line. So we leave them out. And now see the illustration number 11. When it's a composite number line, in this case, our solution will be infinite again. Just like it would be performed on an integer number line because still the base is 10. And that's not all I say here. Answer will be still come out which you will tell me in the comment section. So my dear friends, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon so that you can get my all videos timely. Thanks for watching.